Natasha. I'm a PhD economist and senior business specialist. I regularly teach courses at the Center for Local Business Development. In our last session, which we refer to as Module 1, I took you through an introduction to offshore oil and gas. In this session, Module 2, we'll introduce you to the offshore project life cycle, starting with the exploration phase. Let's first look in detail at the project life cycle of the offshore oil and gas industry. As we go through the material, you will have a better understanding of the oil and gas value chain, project life cycle, and opportunities to see where your business could fit in. The oil and gas value chain is structured into three main segments, upstream, midstream, and downstream. Starting upstream in the oil and gas value chain, this is where firms find hydrocarbons, take the raw materials and convert it into final goods such as petrol, plastics, and fertilizers for end users to consume downstream. Midstream include activities to transport and store oil and gas for downstream processing activities. Activities downstream include processing and finally marketing the end product for retail. For example, selling fuel via gas stations. So where in the value chain is Guyana's offshore industry? Offshore oil and gas activities in Guyana are in the upstream segment. For example, Exxon is both in the exploration and development stages. Production has not yet started in Guyana. Other oil and gas operators are in downstream in the retail segment, selling into Guyanese markets via gas stations. Retailers who sell refined oil in Guyana include Shell, Rubis, and Guyol. The focus of this course will be on the upstream segment of the value chain. An upstream offshore project life cycle involves three main phases. Exploration, which can range anywhere from five to 10 years. Development, ranging from one to five years. And production, 15 to 30 years. Exploration involves all of the activities needed in order to locate oil and gas reserves. And these include technical surveys by geologists, exploration drilling, appraisal drilling, and commercial analysis. Exploration ranges from one to 10 years and involves all activities to find hydrocarbons. Searching for oil and gas is a high risk activity. And despite the cutting edge technology employed, millions of dollars are invested with limited certainty of success. Seismic surveys are among the first activities to take place, conducted by teams of geologists and geophysicists. Put simply, seismic surveys provide geophysicists with an image of the sediment and composition of materials under the seabed. If the survey results return positive indicators for the presence of hydrocarbons, exploration wells are drilled to verify that there are in fact hydrocarbon reserves. Exploration drilling is also necessary to verify the scale of the reserves. Wells are expensive, over US 250 million, and a company may drill and not find anything. It may take several exploratory drilling wells to find a reserve. Drilling is key, but does not guarantee any returns on the investment put into the exploration activities. Exploration is all about information. The more information, the lower the risk. However, the most valuable information comes at a greater cost. 